Hello Stitchy friends. Um, I've been missing, sorry, missing in action. I haven't been very well um, and I've had um, loads of blood tests. Um, I'm just waiting for the second load of results um, to come through. The first ones I had very low lymphocytes, whatever that is, um, and a load of other things that were very low. So they, they're taking another whole load to test liver function and all sorts of things. So hopefully um, it'll be all right. I've been very tired. I've been getting out of breath, um, just going up the stairs. Um, so whether that's something to do with um, what's been wrong with me or whether it's just because I've got to lose a lot of weight because I'm a big old girl um, it could be either or or both <laughs> I imagine so yeah so I'm a bit late sorry um, but I'm here now I'm here now hi everyone um, I've got some bits to show you oh here comes the girls here's the girls Coco, get down. It's me. There's nobody else here. Oh, Coco. Sorry about that. Coco's pulled this down. We're all right. We're still here. Okay. Oh, did you hear that? Hacking up a hairball. That's all we need. Thank you, love. Um, Yeah, so I've got a few bits to show you. I've got a, a mini haul very mini haul. Um, I have got a um, little bit of progress and a couple of new starts. Um, so let's get straight into it and I'll show you my progress on... Hang on, hang on. I just have to move the wire because I've got it plugged in. Um, Game of Thrones. Lots of progress on that. So since I last showed you, I have done, I think I've done these three. Have I? Am I? No. Yes. I've done these three and I've done part of the heading there. Um, I thought I only had one more line of people to go. But unfortunately, there's two more lines of people to go. So that is a lot more stitching. Sorry, Chris, but it's it's getting there. Um, I like stitching it, it's just like a person will take me a whole day if everything's going right and if everything's going wrong it'll take me a week but um, yeah there it is it's looking cool we're almost done so that's that one let me just put that over there so the girls don't knock it down <sighs> what's the better they'll knock it down anyway um, so the prairie moon I've done a little bit I've done some extra bits there so there you go in that beautiful green um, I like doing it it's just it's the size of this frame this is um, 17 by 17 um, and it's just that tiny little bit awkward if you know what I mean um, I like to see everything but it's just <laughs> like that awkward um yeah and i've been trying to get a um what you call it a project bag to fit it do you think i can get one no the biggest one i could find was 16 by 16 um yeah and it was lovely and here it is the 16 by 16 i got this on etsy but it ain't fitting that so inside of this one, isn't it lovely? Look, yeah, I got that on Etsy. Um, <clears throat> I got a new start. I don't know why I started it. But I think you know sometimes you get a bit bored and you've got to do something else. Um, so I have started this. Um, la di da, seven virtues. There we go. Um, and it's kind of here somewhere so here's my start 
It's not very much, but I started. Yeah. So I've taken it off the Q-snap because I wanted it for something else. So I've had to order another Q-snap to put that back on. Um, yeah, I mean, I like stitching letters. Stitching letters goes quick for me. So enjoying that one. And I've got my little flosses there. I've got that lovely deep red. I don't know if you can see that lovely deep red. Um, a grey. And like a palomino colour ish. And standard 310. So, yeah, so that's a, a new start for me in there. Let me just pop that back in my new project bag. Look at that, eh? It's got little zips on it. All different colour zips. I like it. I'm oh, just so excited by that. It doesn't take much to excite me these days, not at my age. Um, I also had a new start now, bear with, and I'll show you what it is. I got this, this is Boo Moon. It's got lots of minis, I love minis. And I'm doing this one here. And where is it? Not very far, but that's the cat's little chest and his two little legs there. So, yeah, that's as far as I got with that. I've got a worry. I think I've put too much fabric in there. I didn't want to waste any because he's only going to be about that big, isn't he? And I've got all this wastage of fabric, which we don't want to do. But hey-ho. Anyway, so that's that one. Um, I have started, and I haven't got it here. Hang on, bear with. I'll get it. Oh, Alex. So it's in here. This is the chart bit. So I've got to get it out and show you because it's, it's the wrong way around. But I've got this one here, which is sweeping cobwebs. So I made a start on that one. <coughs> here it is, and I'm doing it on 28 count ale by Picture This Plus. And I, I don't know why I've done this in 310 because it would have looked better in that um, black brown. But it's, I've done it in black now and I can't be asked to pull it out. So we're just going to go with that and see what happens. And I've switched out the orange for ruby slippers, which is my favourite. The nice bit of bright red in, in all these things. So we'll see how that comes out. But I'm quite pleased with it. There's something else to do, isn't it? Um, yeah, so that's that part. Let me put that back in the doobry so I can stick it on my magnifying lamp and I can carry on with that later. Oh, won't go back in the bag. Oh, 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 oh. we're not supposed to show charts, are we? Look how defiant I am. Look. <laughs> okay. I got, I got a little bit further with um, the Salem, so I've started, I've done a little bit more of the border, but that's it on that one. I like the writing there, it's very fancy isn't it? And that is in Black Coral, I'm doing that. Just put that back in there, and that's the little project bag I got for that one which is from the Baltic Needle Etsy. And she hasn't got any more of these bags left. She seems to have sold out, which I'm not happy about. 
Um, I would like some more of those, but in bigger sizes. Uh, hey ho, there we go. Um, and in this one, this is my favourite project. At oh, girls! I always start as soon as I try to make a video. So this is my favourite at the moment. Let's put this at the back there. And this is Witchboard by Country Cottage Samplings, I think. And I've done, I've done all the lettering um, and two little skulls, and now I've got to do the background around there. So, yeah, that stitched up really quick. Um, lettering again, I really enjoy that. Um, oh yeah, it's on. Picture this plus the bloom, uh, 32 count. And I'm stitching it in that, what am I stitching it in? I'm stitching it in. Uh, it's that black brown 3371. And I've picked out my own colours. I've got Moon Glow from Weeks Dye Works for the moon. And this one, 3821 to go with it. So give it a bit of shading. I've also got from Weeks Dye Works Marmalade. It's nice. Oh, this way. It's pretty. I have got Dinky Dyes Red Dust. Red Dust. So it's quite a mixture. And 3021 DMC, which is kind of like a grey greeny kind of colour so yeah so that's my mixture to go in there which I think goes quite nice you might think different but I think it looks all right so that's in my lovely Baltic needle project bag and that goes in there so I love this size it's just the right size for a 11 by 11 and that's that's the picture of the chart so you can see there like the moon and the sun and there's two cats and there's like some kind of demon there and a bat so yeah i've got to do all that bit now which will be fun and then the even more fun bit is choosing a frame for it to go in which will be good right let's put those there um, I have got some fabric. Finally, my sparklies um, fabric came. And here it is. It's called Black Dahlia. Black Dahlia. And it's kind of like a purpley black. Can you see? You can't really see unless I put something behind it. There we go. There's the light shining through it. But isn't that nice? I haven't got a clue what I'm going to stitch on it, but something. There's bits of sort of brownie purple and light purple and bits of black. It's beautiful. So thank you, Sparklies, for that. Let's pop that back in. And she look, she searched all the edges, which I like. That's so helpful when they do that, isn't it? There's nothing worse than a frayed bit of fabric. You don't want to lose any of it, do you? When you spent that sort of money on fabric, you don't want to lose it from fraying. Now, I've got this one. I can't remember if I showed this to you last time. And this is from Thematic Alchemy, and it's called Lazurite. Lazurite. And it's kind of a denim blue with um, lighter blue patches. It's nice. It's, again... No clue what I'm going to stitch on that, but I really like it. So happy with that. Um, so yeah, happy days because it's something to do. I need something to do in my old age. I got, finally got Boolia. Is that the right, right way around? Boolia. Um, from Dinky Dyes, from so-and-so, because they were out of stock for ages on this. And um, 
I needed it for my plum pudding. I kind of um, switched it out for a different one because I thought I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to get hold of it. But now I've got it, I can, I can do it in the cord for threads. So pleased, very pleased with that. Um, I've got this. Three pounds a unit, not bad. So can't wait to do that. Oh, um, it's a rebel in me, and I think that's it. That's all, all of my haul and my whips. Um, yeah, so not a lot to show you, really, is there? Did I show you this? I might not show you this. Did I show you this? This is, um, I've got this bump in the night. You see, I got that from Arts and Designs. Because I only recently discovered Arts and Designs. Um, and they had quite a few patterns there that I couldn't get anywhere else. And boo to you. I can't wait to do that one. He's cute, isn't he? Like his teeth. Um, yeah, just recently discovered Arts and Designs and I think they're, they're really good. And I ordered it one day and it was here the very next day. I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. Um, but thrilled to bits. Um, I've ordered a couple of grime guards from Floss Candy. So I am waiting for those to arrive. Really thrilled because um, I got paid this week. So guess what? All my spare money went on um, stitchy stuff, which is outrageous, really. Um, yeah, so really pleased with that. Oh, I've got a new uh, wind chime on my door. Where's my door? Let's see if we could get... Can you see? Can you see my skeleton wind chime on the door? Isn't he funny? I love him. Yeah, he was a bargain on Amazon. Only a couple of pounds. And he's a lot bigger than I thought he was going to be. <coughs> I thought it was only going to be a little one like that, but it's huge, really lovely. Um, so, what have I been doing this week apart from going to the doctors? Um, I have been, of course, stitching when I've been able to. Um, I had a few days where I couldn't really do anything at all because I was so unwell and I couldn't stitch anything and I got quite depressed then I think stitching is the only shut up bend stitching is the only thing that seems to stop me getting down at the moment um, and I feel like if I've done um, some stitching every day I feel like I've been productive and I've done something and if I haven't done anything all day because I've been unwell it just gets me really down I think well what have you done today you've wasted a whole day you know just wasted a day just sitting there feeling sorry for yourself um i had some disability stuff put in the house so they put some rails in the bathroom and um, they put two around the bath to help me get out the bath they put one by the loo to help me get up off the loo um amount of times i've slid off that loo and fell on the floor you wouldn't believe it um yeah not a pretty sight Legs akimbo it was, honestly. Um, and they've put some rails in the front garden. And they've gone a bit hell for leather with the rails because they're all the way up the steps and then they all curve round the house and up by the wall and to the front door. Um, and it's all in this galvanised metal. So, yeah, it looks a bit unpleasant. So I'll have to grow some plants up round it to try and hide it a bit. But it does help me get up the steps when I'm having bad days, so can't really complain about that, can I? Um, yeah, lots of blossom has come out on the trees in the garden. Um, I'm going to get some more wind chimes to put, hang up in my trees, just to make it nice and calm and um, nice out there for the dogs as well, because they like a little bit of wind chime too, bless them. Um, I had a look around the stores in the town this week and I had a look in the second hand stores and they had no floss, 
They had no decent frames, only those horrible 1980s um, kind of thin me metallic um, frames. Horrible. Uh, yeah, so that was a bit of a disappointment. There's no decent colouring books out in WH Smith's at the moment, so that was boring. I got Cross Stitch magazine. Um, and it had <coughs> two mice pin cushions to make, which I probably never might make, but that was free with it. And um, it had some patterns, and I bought it for a particular pattern on the front. And when I opened the magazine, it said, "No, sorry, that's last week's. That's not included. There's a different one this week." So why they put it on the front cover, I don't know. So that was disappointing. So yeah, I had a quick browse for it and slung it to one side. Okay. No good. I finished my son's blanket, actually, and posted that off to him. Um, and I put some little tassels on the corners and put a little handmade um, tag on it. So hopefully he'll like that. And I sent him a book as well to kind of bump up the present a little bit because it seemed a little bit naff just to send a blanket so I sent him a book as well um, so hopefully he'll like the book because he likes drawing and it's a book about drawing giving you ideas of things to draw so um, yeah hopefully he'll like that um, yeah I think that's just about all I've done this week it's not been very much at all um, and I think the girls have done not really. The girls have been their normal naughty self and um, Millie's been barking at Merlin as she does normally. I tried to block the hole in the fence because there's a little hole in the fence where Millie pokes her nose through and she can see Merlin on the other side. Um, so I blocked it already once and um, she's pulled it all down and I've got to block that up again. Um... Yeah, the weather's got cold. It was lovely and warm about a week ago. And now it's absolutely freezing my ass off. It really is. Um, and I've got all my spring flowers out there. And I'd like to get out there. And I've got a garden chair that I want to sit on. And sort of do some stitching out there in the sunshine. But no chance. It's, it's like Norway out there, honestly. Uh, just... I just can't believe it. What a shame. Yeah, I've run out of things to tell you about. I think there's nothing else that's happened this week. What's going to happen next week? Well, um, well, I'm looking forward to some more stitchy stuff coming. Um, but it'll only be like um, threads and stuff that I'll be able to show you. Um... Hopefully, I'll, I'll have a rack to show you because a really lovely lady um, got in touch with me and said that she wanted to send me something. It's not come yet, but I'm so thrilled to bits that anybody would want to send me anything. So, yeah, wow. Um, no one's ever sent me anything for nothing before, so absolutely thrilled to bits with that. My goodness me. I mean, how often does somebody do that? So thank you very much. Um, I won't say who you are yet, um, and I'll ask your permission before when when what you've sent me arrives before I show it off. Um, but thank you, gosh. Um, oh yeah, I've got a needle minder. Where's that then? It's probably on here. Remember, I was saying last week that I was looking for witchy needle minders. Well, I only found one. Where is it? Here, that's it. There, can you see? That's the only one I found, and that's from Sammy's Craft Supplies on Etsy. Um, I didn't want to. Um, I didn't want to get one out of the UK because it's just it's the postage. You know, they ask for a lot of postage, and I can understand that nobody wants to send anything for free. But honestly, you know, you've got to watch the pennies, haven't you? And, 
Yeah, I need to buy things like fabric and, and, and thread. So I'd rather keep the money for the fabric and thread than postage. Is that a bit mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm a bit of a miser. I don't know. Hope not. Oh, I started a new blanket. Um, so I'd started like a navy blue one. And it's got this little pink variegated around here and the rest is navy. I don't know why I started it. I think I just needed to do something. Um, and when my um, hands are shaking too much and I can't get the needle in the hole, then this is a lot bigger for me to, to manage and it's easier and at least it's I'm doing something rather than sitting there like a vegetable. So, which is what I really need to do. So, yeah, I'm, I'm quite pleased with it. The only thing is, because I've picked a dark colour, I've got to be careful because of the dog hairs. So where I put it is going to be... It's going to be important somewhere where Millie and Bindi and Coco can't sit. Coco's not too bad because she doesn't really shed, but Millie and Bindi, they shed like the devil, so... Yeah, you've got to be careful with that. Um, yeah, I've been referred um, to NHS Tai Chi. Um, so I'm waiting for my first session of NHS Tai Chi, which is going to be exciting. We think it's going to be in Deal. So that will be a bus ride to Deal from Dover. And it would be quite a nice bus ride because you can see the sea all the way along there. Go along the coast. And I'll do a little bit of Tai Chi like that for a couple of hours. And then I get the bus ride home and then I will feel wonderful, hopefully. We'll see. So that's a wonderful thing to look forward to, isn't it? Tai Chi for the over 50s. Yeah, who'd have thought? Anyway, well, I think this has got to be it for now because I don't have an awful lot to show you and not an awful lot is happening apart from my health going downhill. Um, but I've been feeling a lot brighter today than I have for quite a few days. I've even got a bit of rose in my cheeks because I've been so pale, um, struggling to walk, struggling to hold things, been dropping things shaking um, and of course my blood tests coming back all over the place um, but they promised me they're going to get to the bottom of it oh my hospital appointment I mentioned it to the doctor and said it ha still hasn't come yet for my neurology appointment and he said apparently there's a huge waiting list for people to get their heads scanned um, so he said it will be a while but um when it comes, don't muck them about because otherwise they'll put it backwards again even longer. He said, just go, whatever date they give you, just go. So, yeah, still waiting and waiting for that. But I don't mind because I'm not really that bothered about getting my head scanned, to be honest. It's quite a, a scary proposition for me. Um, I'll probably take Sharon with me and she'll, uh, she'll make fun of it and then make me feel a lot better, which would be good. Uh, yeah, so I think that's it, my lovely friends, my lovely stitchy friends out there. Um, thank you, though, to all of you lovely, lovely people who sent me um, supportive messages. Um, and, yeah, when I've been feeling a bit rotten, they just really lift me up and I felt fabulous. And um, for the first couple of days, I tried to reply to everybody. But it's kind of, um, I haven't managed to keep up with it because as soon as I think I've done it all, I've got another few messages come through and and I wasn't well enough to sort of keep doing it. So I will try um, because you've, you've made the effort to leave me a message. So the least I can do is try and reply. Um, even if, I, if I'm not very well and I just put like a little heart next to your message, you know I've read it. And you know I love it, and it's come from my heart, okay? And thank you to all my Instagram buddies as well who've left me messages to say, you know, keep your pecker up, 
Oh, hang on a minute. That's in um, in the US. That might not be quite so um, innocent as it is here. Um, keep on smiling. Maybe would be a better way of describing it. Um, yeah. So thank you guys for all that. Oh, hello, Mills. Is that you? Bind, you want to come and say hello? And um, oh, Mills does. Hang on, guys. Mills wants to come and say hello. Say hi, Mills. Mills, say hi. Hi, everyone. Oh, she's looking for Merlin. Look, that's that Merlin face. Where is he? Where is he? Want to murder Merlin, don't you? Hey? That's all she thinks about is Merlin. And her stomach. And here comes Bindi. Bind. You gonna say hello? Say hello, hello, hello. Hello to you and you and you and you and you and you. Here's Bindi. Here's the butt flasher. Here she goes. Don't you flash your butt, Bind. No butt flashing. And there's a nice big butt there. Look at that butt. Look at that butt. Get near you. Oh, Bindi. You're going to have to lose weight on that butt, Bind. You've knocked that right off. Here we are. Here's Bind. There's the pretty end of Bind. Isn't it, Bind? Bindi. Can you say hello to your public, Bindi? Say hello, hello. I'd like to say hello, 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 hello to you. Not really. She doesn't really care, does she? Mm. I love you, Bind. Okay. Coco won't say hello, you know that, guys. Because she's camera shy. Coco, do you want to say hello? You want to say hello? Coco said no. I don't want to say hello. Okay, bye-bye then, guys. I'm off. And hopefully I'll be back in about a week. Let you know how things have gone. Might show you a picture of my um, rails that they've put up around my front door. That'll be interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, and any of my stitchy stuff and my progress. And I'll show you next week. Um, thanks again, everybody who's been so supportive. I'm thrilled to bits with you. I think you're all fabulous out there. Oh, have you noticed? I dyed my hair. Look. Look at it. It's brown. Yes. It's called Caracas, apparently. Caracas. Not Maracas. Caracas. But um, I think it looks better because it's more my colour. It matches my eyebrows. So finally, I've hair to match my eyebrows. Yes. I think it looks nice. Tell me what you think. If it looks terrible, tell me. Um, okay, I better go, because I keep saying I'm going to go, and I never go, um, but I'm going to go, okay? So, love you all, and um, catch you later.